So how much does an animal-based or a carnivore diet actually cost per day? If you've ever wondered this question, I'm about to show you the exact amount I'm spending on all my food for the entire day. There is a, oh, low wash. Looks like I need to add some wash. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much it costs for my day of eating the carnivore diet. Plus, I'm gonna give you a definitive guide on how to make the animal-based or carnivore diet as cheap as possible, but also be super high quality. So I'm gonna go get breakfast. I'm gonna get my bacon, I'm gonna get my eggs. Maybe I'm gonna get sausage today. This place has pasture-raised eggs and high-quality bacon. So pretty much every time I go to breakfast, which is about four times a week, uh, this is where I go. All right, music time is over. It's time for the gym. So here I have some of my sparkling water. This is Pellegrino from the glass bottle. But I take this and here's a little salt, high quality salt. This is just Himalayan salt. And when I am low carb, I notice that in the gyms, I have a little less energy, kind of. But one thing I do notice for sure is my muscles and my vascularity is a little down. And I like to get a good ass pump when I go to the gym. It makes it fun. It just, who doesn't like looking at yourself in the mirror after a good pump and seeing all sorts of veins and looking all buff. So here's what I do. Like a tequila shot, I put some salt on my, on my hand. I lick it down. I do like three or four rounds of this. That's good to go. It's good to go. I'm gonna drop a little bit, just a little teeny bit into my drink. Fizzes up with the sparkling water, wonderful. And I'm gonna drink this on the way to the gym. And right now, ah, it's fucking good. Can I get it? There's a boy. All right, post workout meal. Just doing four patties. They're 25 grams of protein each. And this is not a very big meal for me. I'm not super starving, but gotta get some calories and some protein in after the gym. That's what it's gonna be. And that's dinner, about as perfect as it gets for me. It might look boring, but to me it looks beautiful. A big steaming pile of meat. We got a pound of turkey. We got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six big beef patties. They're salted up like crazy. Um, tonight I'm gonna get a little wild and I'm gonna put some of these Bragg's coconut aminos up on there and that's gonna do it. Super simple, absolutely amazing, nutritious and delicious. Let's go through a little cost breakdown and I'm gonna go over how to make this as cheap as hell. I'm also gonna go over little ways that I have super high quality while still keeping my cost pretty low, at least for my budget. But meal one was $12.61. Obviously, if I were to eat at home, make my own eggs, the meal would have been half the price. The pre-workout salt was like five cents. Obviously that's nothing. So meal two was $3. So meal three was 1.5 pounds of beef, which comes out to $4.50. And my pound of ground turkey costs $7.99. Here's the brand that I can get at my local store. It is organic, it is high quality, it is delicious. And that cost really isn't too bad. So that brings my grand total for the entire day to $28.25. I'm including 10 cents for the salt. I'm also including five cents for the Bragg's amino acids that I use, because I just sprinkled a doop doop, a few little dots right onto my food for some sweet meat flavor in. But overall, $28.25, that's less than $900 a month. That's less than $30 a day, which for the quality that I ate, again, the beef was grass fed, pasture raised, the turkey was organic, the eggs were pastured, and the little sausage links were probably the lowest quality food that I had for the day, but even those were not crap quality. One of the key takeaways for how my day of eating stayed not super high was the ground beef. Pasture raised, grass fed ground beef can get expensive as hell. How I kept that down is I have sourced a local farmer who makes ground beef. I know what his cows look like. They're beautiful. 
They walk around on big pastures, they eat mostly grass, they're super healthy, and the way he maintains his farm is in a regenerative fashion. So I can highly support that. Plus, the dude sells ground beef at an absolute steal to those people who he knows. He knows me. So I'm getting ground beef for basically $3 even per pound, paid in cash. You guys know what that means. Maybe I won't get into that part. So for me, less than $30 a day is absolutely way under budget. And it allows me to, whenever I want from time to time, I can go to a restaurant. From time to time, I can eat a bunch of ribeyes, I can eat a bunch of filet mignon, and I really don't have to stress about my dietary budget. My day could have been even cheaper. I could have eaten my pasture-raised eggs at home, which I do a lot of the time. I could have skipped the turkey and just gone with ground beef all day, which would have made it cheaper by several dollars. So this day of eating could have really been about 15 to $17 a day. Here are some keys to keeping it at the lowest possible, possible, possible scenario. Now, the caveat to this is when you are going for the cheapest possible carnivore animal-based diet, you will be giving up some quality. What I have found though, is that the quality of beef does matter, but it is not the most important thing. Low quality ground beef can still do the job for healing your body, for healing autoimmune diseases, for, for healing eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea, for getting plenty of amazing protein and amino acids and all of the nutrients like these ones that you can only find in beef that make it amazing for healing and for being a strong, virile human. So low quality beef, it's low quality ground beef should not be looked down upon for those who can't afford to do pasture raised grass fed. But I am gonna show you some secrets on how to get cheaper grass fed pasture raised beef here in a second. So the key to making it as cheap as possible is to buy the ground beef in bulk. For less than $10 a day, with a little bit of 25 cents added in in salt per day, you can thrive, especially if you're trying to be a very minimal lion diet or carnivore diet type of person where you're eating beef and salt only. You can spend a month spending less than $300 easily and get all the calories, all the protein, all the fat, all the amino acids you really need to have that sort of diet. Here are the five keys to having a high quality animal based diet, but on the cheapest, most budgeted level you can possibly squeeze out. Number one, cook all of your meals at home. Anytime you go to a restaurant, the price is going to be jacked up at least three to four to five times higher. The same grass fed pasture raised steak that you get at a steakhouse. It's gonna, it's gonna cost you 25, 30 bucks every time we're at home. It's gonna cost you sometimes five to 10 bucks. Huge savings. Cook all your food at home. That way you know what you're getting. You can control your amounts and you can control the process of how much it's gonna be. You can stay within budget. Number two, and this is something that is kind of obvious, but until I started doing it, I didn't realize how much of a cost saver this is. Buying in bulk, a company who's really awesome, nosedetail.org, they have fantastic high quality foods. The more bulk you buy, the more you save. Buy in bulk like crazy and put the stuff in your freezer. Beef keeps forever frozen. Number three, get out into your community. Buy directly from local farmers. Go to CSAs, go to farmer's market, connect with other carnivore, animal-based, regenerative farming people, and you will start to find that there are food producers in your area who have dirt cheap directly to you and you know the source, which is awesome on every level and can save you a lot of money. Just like my ground beef hookup, the dude lives 10 minutes down the road, and yes, I'm lucky, I live on a farm, I do some regenerative farming myself, I've gotten out into the community, I've only lived here for two years, but I've gotten to know enough people to where I can find the highest quality, delicious ground beef for $3 a pound. You can't find that even in the store. Number four, ground beef should not be looked down upon by any, by anyone. A lot of dogma in the carnivore diet community 
comes from you gotta have steaks and you gotta have ribeyes all the time or you're, it's gotta be super high fat. I like the leaner cuts of meat, personally. They do my body well. It's actually a huge staple in my diet and has absolutely changed how my body looks and feels and has made it super easy to stay animal-based and to get all the nutrients that I need. And number five, this is one that people who are on the lion diet probably won't be able to do much of, but even within that, is mix up your protein sources, find the freaking deals, people. Find the deals online. Find the deals at the farmer's market. Find the deals at the grocery store. If you take a little bit of extra time, maybe you go to that one extra store, or you drive that extra 15 or 20 minutes to buy your bulk food for the week or for the two weeks or for the five days, whatever the way you do it, you can actually find super, 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 super good deals. Also, if you are someone who's just animal-based and you're eating a plethora of different animal fats and proteins, there's always deals out there. Is the turkey super cheap? Is the chicken super cheap? The costs for meats vary greatly. I like to find the deals. Oh my God, there's a, the butcher has lamb this week and for some reason, it's cheaper than the ground beef. I'll stock up on lamb. It's really that simple. Vary up your protein sources, look around, take your time, find the deals, and when you find the deals, buy in bulk. It takes a little legwork, it takes a little setup, it might take a little getting out there and getting to know people, but you can make this diet, if it's something that works for you, as cheap as less than $10 a day, and of course you can make it as expensive as you want, eating a ton of ribeyes and filet mignons and going out to restaurants, but there's also a way to do it for super high quality and be somewhere in the middle where it can fit pretty much any budget. You can definitely feed a family. I'd love to hear from you guys. Do leave your comments down below where you source your meats, what you're struggling with on an animal-based diet, and many of you tune into this channel because I am a eczema dermatitis psoriasis coach and I've been that way for 10 years. I am eczema dermatitis and psoriasis and IBS, a bunch of autoimmune issue free going on 11 years now, and since I've been carnivore animal based, and I don't even know if my diet's a carnivore diet, I just use carnivore in the bigger sense. I'm not dogmatic with it. I will eat some mushrooms, I will eat some vegetables, I will eat some fruit. Some days I ate just like I ate today. But those of you who are struggling with your skin health issues, I would check the links in the description because I do have an online course that's absolutely amazing. It's 515 or 520 people deep, and it's an amazing community, and we share a lot of these tips and tricks there. It covers everything from the cleansing and detox protocols, customizing the diet, and the lifestyle it takes to be autoimmune disease-free, to get rid of eczema, psoriasis, and dermatitis for life. And I hope to see you there, plus there's private coaching, plus there's a free ebook, so if you're needing help with your skin, Check the description box, subscribe, share. Much love you guys. Really appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope this helped. I uh, will see you guys soon. Peace.